The arranger tool is something that's very helpful in organizing your song. Like say, for instance, you have a verse, you got a chorus, you got a bridge, and you want those to line a certain way. Instead of having to like re-record everything or copy and paste everything, this tool will allow you to just simply drag and drop where you need it to go. So let me show you exactly how this works. So let's look at bar one. And now we're gonna actually create a Ranger clip for this. But in order to do this first, you might not even see the Arranger tool up there. If you don't know how to access it, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the right side and you're gonna see this little eyeball. It's at the top right corner, right? And it's choose, it says click to hide and show various parts of user interface. This is one feature that I think is really amazing because if you want to quickly get rid of something you don't feel like looking at anymore, you can just uncheck it. So I don't have my browser up, so I can click it to the left. Okay, you can also press B on the keyboard for the shortcut to actually bring the browser up. And on the tracks view, you will see the arranger. And right now I can say hide or I can say unhide. And when I say to unhide it, you will see that track pop up right here. Now, there are two ways, or three ways actually, that you can go about putting a clip here. So the first way is you can drag the plus sign here and it'll create a clip, right? Let's look at that a little further. There we go, new arranger clip. All right, I'm gonna control Z that. Or you can hold shift and drag it across and do it that way. I think that's easier. Press Control Z, or you can right click on the arranger and say insert arranger clip. Okay, so those are three different ways you can go about doing it. Control Z. Now, let's say that I want this first nine, well, not nine, but this first eight bars stopping at bar nine. I want that to all be arranged. And I want this to really be the verse. I'm gonna start at bar one, I'm gonna hold down Shift. And you'll notice you'll see a pencil. It'll come up and then I'm going to write this over to nine. All right. I'm going to shrink it so you can see it a little better. There we go. All right. You can see that a little better. Let's close the B because we don't need a browser right now. All right. And now you can see it even better. If I want to go on here and I want to name this arranger clip, I can just double click on it and I can type first. Oops. Not like that though. Okay. You can also right click on it and change the colors here. Okay, also under the actions tab, if the browser is open, then you can actually click on the clip and you can change the color over here too as well. You can also name it over here, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and arrange the rest of this. So I know that this section right here is my pre-chorus. We can see the whole entire frame of my arranger. Now say for instance, I wanted to copy one of these over because maybe I want to do a third verse. I don't know. So I got a verse here. I got a verse there. I got a pre-chorus. I got a pre-chorus. I got a chorus. So maybe I need to copy the chorus again. You're going to see these two arrows that are right here. Once I see those two arrows, then I can take that and it's going to drag the whole entire section over. And I want to put it right at bar 49. It's going to ask me the question, do I want to copy the section or do I want to move the section? In this case, I'm going to copy the section. And it should have lined up perfectly. Let's give a listen right before. Okay, perfect. If I didn't like it, I can press control Z. If I wanted to redo it again, I can press control Y and it'll be back again. So what if I want to move one of these clips to another place in the song? Instead of copying it, I can just move it. Let me show you how to do that. So let's say that I want to move this pre-chorus to right after the chorus. So I'm going to make sure I have my double arrows. Going to hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to drag it right here. And I'm going to say move section this time. All right. And you notice that it shifted everything else over. And so now when I play it. Okay. It did it seamlessly. Sounds perfect. This is a great way for you to actually arrange your song. And this comes in very handy 
if you're a person where you want to do different formats, like say you want to do an instrumental version of it, or maybe you want to do a shortened radio edit version of it because, you know, if you're doing a radio airplay, normally they might want it two minutes long and your song might be three minutes long and you might need to crop it down. So that way you can quickly create those edits on the fly.